Well, I'm Simon Hope from Natural England. Uh, we work on a national nature reserve uh, down near Stonehenge, uh, Parsonage Down, and uh, we use longhorns to graze the nature reserve. And how many longhorn cattle do you have? We've got uh, about 30 breeding females in the herd, and then 20, 25 following on, and two or three stock bulls. So is the nature reserve fenced in? It it's, there, yes, it's fenced, and it's, uh, it's uh, a site of special scientific interest. And, uh, who, who actually owns it? It's Natural England, which is a, a government uh, organised organisation, and um, we're funded by DEFRA. And how long have you been farming Longhorn? Uh, I've been working with them for five and a half years now. And what made you go into Longhorn? Uh, I was made redundant from commercial agriculture, and uh, a, a job was available working on the nature reserve and obviously that involved working with the Longhorns day to day. And how do you find them as a, uh, as a breed? They're a very docile breed. Are they? They don't yeah. look good for those No, horns. no, they're very docile. Um, quite stubborn at times, uh -huh. <laughs> but um, we have no trouble with them at all. Right, and do they live out all year round or do you bring uh, them in in the winter? Yes, o overall they live, the majority of them live out and they have to graze the nature reserve 365 days a year. That's part of the management plan on the reserve. And some of the calves, we wean the, the yearling calves off and they come in for their first winter. Um, and once they become adults then... And they, are they, they raised primarily to be? Yes, these days. Originally they came to this country as a dual purpose breed. Where did uh, they come from? Uh, saying has it that the Romans brought them into England. So they're a very ancient breed. That's right, yes, that's right. And, and are they a rare breed? Yeah, they were. They're, they're now um, becoming more of a minority breed because uh, they've been very successful in, in raising the numbers. Um, the herd I work with here, the Stoke herd, is the oldest breeding longhorn herd in the country. Uh, it was formed in the 1930s, and at that time there were just 12 longhorns in the country. In the whole country. That's right, and, and these days there's three and a half, four thousand breeding females. But that's a very nice increase in numbers, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, bucks, bucks the trend which normally goes That's the other right, they're, they're, they're certainly... Um, are they found in other countries in Europe? Or are they yes, there's some in Germany. Um, but primarily in this country because these are these are an English longhorn and then we have the, the Texas longhorn which is the American longhorn and uh, they're bred mainly for the, the shape and size of their horns whereas with the English longhorn it's primarily a beef breed. Well thank you very much and um, have you won some prizes today? Yes we've got uh, Stoking here who's um, won his bull class and he's actually longhorn breed champion today yeah, very well done. so we're yes. very pleased with that yes, and then uh, okay. um, Inka and Holly here she won the pairs they won the pairs class together so. yeah. well that's very good congratulations I'm Thank glad you. you had such a successful successful day that was a pleasure let's just hope the uh, weather holds off for the grand parade yes that's right <laughs> it'd be a shame if it rained on the parade that's right it?